Hi folks. I just wanted to share what I was making. I'm making a little battery charger. And it's going to be actually a, a single cell charger, lead acid type. Well, realistically, it'll charge many, many types of batteries. And the reason being is that the uh, voltage output is adjustable. So what I have so far is I have the adapter, power adapter, that's going to feed these little buck converters. I had to mount them all up. Now each buck converter basically operates itself. So the way I'm going to have it is I have each converter, buck converter, coming out with a lead and its own outputs. So I have three outputs here. Now they can also be series together. No, I'm sorry, not series together, parallel, paralleled together. So all joined to the same cell or actually three individual cells. And each buck converter is able to produce a max of 20 amps. So that's it so far. I'm waiting on some parts, bits, pieces and parts to finish it up. I gotta get a, a cord on the end here. So I can plug it into the wall. And this here is a 40 amp, I believe it is, 40 amp output. Inputs 110 volt AC, output is 12 volt DC, but it's adjustable. So I can adjust the voltage. I'm not too sure how high the voltage is gonna go. Maybe 13 volts, I'm not really sure. That's something I'm gonna, when I actually get it and tune it in, I'll adjust that to find out. But I'm waiting on some meters and some switches so I can mount them on the, uh, on the missing part you're seeing here, the cover. So I'm gonna mount the voltmeters, three of them. I did the measurements, they're gonna fit there just nicely, but not with much room to spare. Actually, zero room to spare. It's that close of a fit. And then the, uh, this is just an old box of some, some sort. It was some type of, I'm not really too sure what it was actually. Some kind of little power supply box. So I basically gutted it, have taken everything out of it and um, reinserted what I wanted in there. So there's a few holes here that I have no need for. So this hole here, I'm gonna make a handle, carry handle from it. So it'll plug up that hole. And this here hole here, I'm not too sure what I'm gonna do with it. I may just leave it alone. And I actually reused the old plugs that used to be in it. They were a plug like this type of plug. But this one here is a nine prong. So I just basically drilled out the holes and pulled the wires through and pushed them through and epoxied them inside the plug itself so it keeps them nice and tight. This way they're not movable. But that's how it's coming along so far. I'm actually quite uh, looking forward to actually using it. I have a need for it. So as I finish it, I'll um, do another little video and give you the basically completion of it what it looks like and uh, talk a little more about it into some details but until that time I'll see you then okay some more parts bits pieces and parts came in from my little charger my little battery charger and I put uh, three switches in here on the top side to have control of each one of these buck converters to either leave three of them on or just one on have one off that type of thing each switch will control each one you see there and here's that cover where I mounted some gauges like I say this particular charger is for single cell lead acid batteries you can see that meter it goes up to five volts I won't be exceeding past the three volts and then the cooling fans on the other little video I had the cooling fans part of the buck converters I removed them 
and I put two larger ones on the top side and I never put um, any kind of screen protective screen because this here is for myself and I want zero restrictions of airflow that's why I never worried about it I'm not going to be the one sticking my fingers in or anything like that so and even if it was these little plastic fans there's no harm done the fans just gonna stop but I left it open and the reason why I did was to have zero restrictions for the airflow once these are actually in operating and keeping everything cool inside I want maximum airflow so that's the purpose these fans here I think they're about a three inch fan and have a few other little screws to put in you can see here And the switches and I have some more bits pieces and parts yet need to get here alligator clips here for the ends and also the end for the extension for the cord power cord itself and then I just have to basically wire it all up wire everything together so I'm not going to show that you just get the idea of what it's going to be like and that's what it's going to be like The only bad part when I want to make adjustments, if I'm going to have to make adjustments after I tweak it all, I'm going to have to actually open this open this up and make the adjustments on the buck converters themselves. But once I have it all tweaked and set up, that's going to be pretty much it anyhow. Unless I want to charge some other type of battery that I'm going to have to make them adjustments. But for the most part, for what I'm going to be using this for, once I have it all tuned in, It'll be left just at that, and uh, no further tuning will need to take place. Well, folks, there's a little single cell lead acid type battery charger, or realistically, any battery charger type that you can make yourself. All the parts are available online. I buy most of my things through eBay, but there it is. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you have not, and thank you for those that have.